Hey everybody, it's the test lead, and today's topic is the QA engineer, QA analyst, SDT role explained. The quality assurance role is one of the most essential roles in a software development lifecycle process. However, it seems to be one of the least talked about. The QA role goes by many names such as QA analyst, QA engineer, test engineer, SDT, etc. But the job focus remains to stay the same, to daily test applications. Also, please note, the full video transcript is linked in the description box below. What is a QA engineer? When an application is conceived as an idea, it should go through the proper software development lifecycle process, which includes it being developed, tested, and then deployed to end user. A QA engineer's role is to test and make sure that a given application meets certain requirements before it can reach an end user. This is done in the process of creating tests, running the created tests, and then documenting the results from their tests. Anytime a test has results other than what is expected, a defect or bug should be created. This should then be relayed back to team members to see if its priority level is high enough to need a fix now or can it be fixed later after the deployment. How do you create tests for applications? For each application that they are testing, a QA engineer should create a test plan. In the test plan, there should exist different test cases that represent the different possible scenarios that the application should be tested for. In the test cases, a test script should also be created that documents the exact steps for performing the test case. The test plan should cover all the requirements presented and the requirements analysis step of the software development lifecycle process, as well as other test scenarios that they feel are adequate. Because part of the creating tests may involve using the QA engineer's best judgment, it's important that they familiarize themselves with the application as much as possible. What are the different types of QA engineers? There are two different types of QA engineers, manual testers and automated testers, or sometimes also called software developer engineers and tests, SDET for short. Some businesses have one or the other, while others have a hybrid mix of both. Don't forget, they both have the same goal, to adequately test an application. Manual testers perform their testing by mainly going through the workflow that is written in the test cases for their test plans. Automation testers create an automated script using code that relates to the test cases for their test plans. There are pros and cons to both, which is why it is optimal to have both as part of your testing team. An example is automation tests can run faster than manual running the test. However, many automation tools have limitations such as not being able to handle things such as recapture. What software do you use as a QA engineer? Depending on the company and framework, you will use different software and applications to do your job. For test cases, defects, and bug tracking, you may use tools such as Jira, Backlog, IBM's Rational Collaborator Lifecycle Management, and Azure DevOps. The most common tools for automation include Selenium, Appium, Rational Functional Tester, and Postman. What are the different types of testing? These are some of the different types of testing that should be included in the testing process. Unit testing, testing the smallest piece of code that should be isolated in the system. Integration testing, testing two or more modules of code that interact with each other. End-to-end -end testing, testing complete behavioral flow of the application. Performance testing, testing how stable a system performs under a particular workload and security testing. Testing to confirm information is properly protected in a system. The most important question you're probably asking still is, why are testers even needed? Every successful tech company has a quality QA team. Quality QA engineers can make or break a company, especially with the growing number of competitors in every field increasingly daily. One bad release can be the end of a company. Imagine if Apple never tested the iPhone 1 back in 2007. There is a good chance that it may have been filled with bugs and thus led to a horrible end user experience. Then everyone who took a chance and purchased the first iPhone will communicate to everyone else that they know not to buy these devices. The company will not only lose money because of the initial iPhone release, but may also lose opportunity to gain future customers because of their new bad reputation. Customer loyalty and retention is a big focus in every company. This may have resulted in not enough support for any future iPhone releases. If you made it to the end of the video and found this information informative or helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you have ideas for future videos, please comment them below. Thank you.